all my options, worked off my dues, played all the cards, now there's nothing to lose. Don't want tomorrow to be like today, that's why I'm breaking away. I'm trying to run, I'm trying to hide, what can I win if I'm losing? Just having a lovely kip there, man. Oh, found a bloody sock anyway. Hey, I've just had this fantastic dream, man. Oh, really horny it was. There was this gorgeous bird in it. Spoke with a French accent. Well, definitely foreign anyway. Is it? Is it me boat? I know it was. Isn't it? And she had one of them transparent negligees on. You know, I saw what you see in the window, seeing is. And you could see right through it. Oh, all the contours of that body. Why, why is it, right? When, when you take off to it, night, right? You can only find one in the body! And she was wanting to do it. You know, there it was, on a plate. But we kept getting thwarted. There was this. SES platoon kept swinging in through the windows. Oh, aye! And my brother-in-law kept coming in doing juggling tricks. That could be very significant, that, you know, was. Could it? Yeah, the brother-in-law. Aye. Is it either represent guilt, you say? Guilt and frustration? Oh, that's what most dreams are about, you know. That and, um... Falling off a tar blocks. Bloody frustration, that's what you are. Whenever I did get to do it, oh, she was begging for it, you know. I wonder why that always seems to happen in your dreams. Or a sword, and it was. Is it? Yeah. You know, you can never attain what you really desire. The same reason you can never find your bloody sock in the morning. <sighs> hey, she was beautiful, though. I'll bet you she was called Yvette. Yvette? Mm. <laughs> why? Well, they're all called Yvette in them um, French films, aren't they? Oh. Well, let's go a bit behind, haven't you? Oh, wait, man, I've just had this fantastic dream. Eh? Well, I've just seen a dream, mate. New typist in the admin. Must be Dagmar's assistant or something. Very tasty. Aye? Very upmarket. Oh, I only caught a fleeting glimpse of her, mate. Oh, who's been at that? Who's been at what? Man, me sandwich! I brought it over from the bar last night. I thought I'd make a nice bed breakfast. Can't trust anybody these days. Right, chill out for everything. Who's is this bloody suck? Look at you, late as usual, sitting around with your thumb up your bum, mind being neutral. <laughs> Look, I'm entitled to the occasion to lie in, you know. Hey, you seen that new jewel, do you not, man? Very delectable, I thought. You keep your eyes off, son. I've got it first. Don't what is she that smart? Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, sensible full figure, does, you know. I'm one of those uh, let's fool around here, dudes. Hey, she's not called a vet, is she? I hope that there are four copies in that one. I'll tell you then where she's going to be. Okay? Hey, Dennis, this is Krista. She has just come to work with us. Guten Tag, Frau Krista. <laughs> Guten Morgen. Fräulein Krista. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, I was, I was thinking about the weekend. Yes, what about the weekend? Well, uh, 
That's all right. I don't think she speaks English. Oh, well, I didn't want to compromise you, did I? <laughs> I think that already happened after our first weekend. Yeah, well, it's not common knowledge now, is it? Oh, come on this side. I should think by now it is uh, history. <laughs> yeah, well, there's no panic then, is there? I was just thinking that uh, we might do something, you know, we might take off for the weekend. I've been putting in some overtime lately and I'm flush, that's all. Oh, that sounds very good. Oh, but I have to see about my mother. Yeah. Well, uh, have a think about it, OK? Sure. Good. Oh, wait. The post. I think there's one for you here. Oh, well, that's all right. I'll just take them all across. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye, then. Here is it. Um, he uh, is your friend. Oh, Sie sprechen doch Englisch? <laughs> Enough. Oh, it's poetry, emotion. Oh, dear. What are you two doing? Hello, then. Just uh, catching a glimpse of our beloved. Well, slightly delectable, don't she? Yeah, you get no better, you lads, do you? What's the name then, eh? Come on, what's the name? I said it was uh, the vessel summit. Did he? That's a name in effect. Hey, she sent us a new jumper. Oh, it's some of our sister's birthday cake. We'll have that later. Ah, oh, it's smashing. It's not bad news, is it? I don't know what to make of this, frankly. How do you mean? Well, it's from Vera. Says she wants to come out here. Here? Aye. Says uh, our sister's taking the bands for the weekend and uh, she could do the break and uh, it would give us a chance to talk things over. What's she mean by that? Well, she probably wants to finalise things, Lee. Like. Well, everything is finalised, man. I mean, the divorce has gone through. <sighs> I don't know what there is to bloody talk about. I mean, the solicitors, they did all the bloody talk and we didn't get a word in edgeways. Well, like she says, it'd be a break for her. Well, if she wants a break, I mean, why doesn't that bloke take her somewhere, you know? Yeah, he's the one with a posh new car. Good job. Ah, oh, he's a very busy man, though, Dennis. Probably can't find the time. Yvette? Yeah, that's it. That's her name. If you're taking the piss out of me, Moxie, mate, I'll knock your teeth out, mate. Yeah, I know you will, Oz, but I'm not. Dennis has seen her. She's called Yvette. Straight up. That's a girl in your dreams, right? Why? It's not coincidence, yes, you know. It's fate, man. It's, uh, it's, it's kismet. No, it's not. I just told you, her name's Yvette, not nothing kismet, you know. Oh, not so much of the nerd, thank you very much. Kids miss not a name, right? Squid brain. Isn't it? Nah. Kismet means fate. Destiny. It's a preordained phenomenon, the significance of which is well, incomprehensible to us mere mortals. Everything you say is incomprehensible. It's also a very nice film starring um, Rita Hepworth. No, but he's right, but you know. I mean, I have this dream, right? Last night, this gorgeous bird in it. And then the next day, it's... <sighs> Frightening, man, scares you. Dreams can be very interesting, you know. They do studies on them. Who do? People who do studies on dreams, and it? You know, in universities and research laboratories, you know. Yeah, they, they get these they get these volunteer guinea pigs, right? And they put them to sleep, you know. And then they uh they well they study them, don't they? They study them. Rapid eye movement. <laughs> well, who wants to know what a bloody guinea pig dreams about when it's asleep? No, the term guinea pig is is a metaphorical right. No, they real they used real human beings or students. 
Yeah, just subsidising their meagre grants. Oh, yeah. James revealed the psyche. The what? The... Psyche? What's that? It's what dreams reveal, isn't it? I don't know what he's bloody talking about me, but I know one thing. It's very mysterious. Yeah, you see, you could have known this girl in a past life, right? Could I? You know, it could have been centuries ago. She could be a reincarnation. Really? You still got a phone number? Hello, Hans. Is Yvette around? Yvette? No, no, I can see she's not. Sorry. Uh, for us? Huh? Oh, it's all right. I've waited centuries, so another deal not make any difference. Dennis? Hi, hi, Vera. Uh, look, I've reversed the charges, you know, because it's such a nightmare with all the stuff and change, all that nonsense, you know. Yeah. So, are you all right? Yeah, how was the kid? Right. Oh, they're fine. They're yep. fine. If I'd known you were going to call, um, I'd have kept them up. Oh, well, don't keep them up, love. Oh, well, I'm not now. I mean, it's difficult enough as it is trying yeah, to get so them up. How are you, then? I'm all right. Uh-huh. Did you get me letter? Uh, hey, what's this about you coming out here? Yes, well, I've thought it might be useful, you know. Um, I mean, I thought we could talk. Well, it doesn't seem much to talk about. I mean, the solicitors, they had filled in all the blanks, didn't they? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's the point, Dennis, you know? I think they took over. I mean, there was your lawyer and my lawyer and all these forms to fill in, statements to make, you know... That's the way they work, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. That's the point, I think. And in the middle of all that, somewhere, you and I got lost, you know? What? That's all they made the money. I know, Dennis, I'm saying... Listen, just listen. Yeah, OK, but I'm listening. What? I'm saying that I think that we got lost as people, as a couple. And I think if I came out, we'd be away from all that pressure, all that procedure. I mean, we still a family, aren't we? Are we? Helen wants to take the kids up to the caravan and see how. Yeah. They could go to uh, Bambra Castle and the Farn Islands. They'll have a whale of a time. Yeah. Yeah. Do them the world yeah, I agree, I agree. That's good for them, yeah. Now, yeah. you send us some extra. Well, well, I've been putting them some more time, you know. It's the least I can do. Yeah. You know? I know, and I really appreciate it. Yeah. But I thought I could use that to fly out. What, do you think it's worth? I mean, you've oh, all the way out here on your But, uh, Dennis, pet, please, don't make it hard. Wait, oh, OK. I mean, all right, if that's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Got you one here? Cheers, Bob. I reckon I could use one. Are all right? Yeah. You tell me, Bonner. You tell me. Who's for potent cigars then, eh? See what? Well, it would be fitting, wouldn't it, eh? A fitting compliment to tonight's classic cuisine. Look, I don't complain when you're on cookhouse, Wayne. I'm not complaining. I know you did your best, Niv, with the meagre resources at your disposal. It's like the nicest, Niv. It's just as bloody sock. He was ever on cookhouse. Yeah, when you're on, mate, I don't notice no visible improvement. Listen, I am not complaining. I think combining pickled herrings with sandwich spread and frozen brussels shows a great deal of gastronomic flair. <laughs> Look, the sandwich spread was supposed to be tartar sauce. I just misread the labels, that's all. I'm sure you did. <laughs> nice bit of beer, I thought, Nev. I enjoyed it. Thank you, was. Very tasty. Oh, yeah, well, it would be, wouldn't it? I mean, that's a gourmet dinner in your book, isn't it? I mean, where you come from, son, the equivalent of caviar is Branston bloody chutney, isn't it? Oh, I suppose where you come from, it's candlelit dinners, is it? The mug of sherry. Yeah, well, I am used to a more gracious living, I must admit. <laughs> yeah. You got the inside toilet now, have you? Oh, oh, I have, don't yeah. start, you Hang on, well, well, no. hey, I've got a special well. surprise dessert for us all. Dessert? What do you mean, like a pudding? Eh, call it what you like. Have a look at this. What is it? Some of Brenda sent. Voila! Oh, oh, oh chocolate! Right. All right, all right. It's right. 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 sister's right. birthday right. and she thought we'd appreciate it. Hey, she went wrong, was she, eh? Hey, hold on. What? Someone's been at this already. How do you mean, guys? Well, I only unwrapped it yesterday. I was keeping it as a surprise and one of you lot's been there. Not me. me. Who's oh, done I that? Do it. Look, there's a big ah. chunk gone. There was more than this yesterday. <laughs> I bet you were the same gutsy bastard that ate my sandwich. What sandwich was that? I brought a sandwich I want from the barman to have for me breakfast and some gutsy piggy at that. Ah, come on, Oz. I want to eat half a staff and eat a sandwich. Well, it's the same gutsy piggy that ate the cake. 
But I'll tell you what, whoever, whoever took a bit didn't take much, did they? I, but it's the principle, isn't it? Yeah. Why? It'll be goodbye to all this soon, Dennis. All right. Back to civilization. Aye, in the dual queue, huh? Eh? Hard win, Captain. Yeah. No. My word, you see that? Hey, I think I did, aye. Was it what I thought it was? I think it was, bomb, aye. It's come from the hood as well. As if we didn't have enough problems, eh? The toast is Brenda. Yeah, Brenda. Yeah. Brenda. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Brenda's yeah. sister. Hey, Nick, 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 Nick. A red treat, that, mate. A red treat, Neville. Ah, if they get the red cross parcel, and all that. That's been a great day, though, hasn't it? You know, nice piece of crumpet in the admin and a great piece of cake in the oats. Hey, hey, hey. Shorty, sure, not so much of the crumpet, that a vet specially, you know. I mean, Destiny sent that, didn't they? Oh. Destiny did all the way. Oh, hello, Dennis. Where are you, mate? I heard you some. Too much stuff in my Some cake. Oh, Brenda sent. Oh, I don't know, Bomber. Real genuine, eh? Get you one. Aye, there would have been more like, but uh, somebody got at it. Who? Oh. Didn't know who, but a big chunk got eaten. Huh? Oh, in that case, I think I'll pass. Me too. Aye? Huh? Before? Aye, oh, spiffing with a cake, Danny. Aye, 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 aye. Look, it's, look, it's no offence uh, to Brenda's cook, and I just think that this hut's got uh, another inmate. I think he's probably eating your cake, like. Huh? What was that, like? What are you talking oh. about, huh? We've just seen him, haven't we, Bomber? Couldn't miss him. Oh, man! Well, I don't know his name. It was the biggest rat I've ever seen. How oh, yeah, man, this stuff is funny. I just you know, think man. we should all have shots, that's all. What are you talking about, shots? Shots, shots, you know, injections like. Yeah, some rats have got rabies, you know. Yeah, but that'd only affect us if we got bit, wouldn't it? Not necessarily, no. It could be in our bloodstreams, couldn't it? I mean, we ate that cake after the rat did, right? So it could be in our bloodstreams, couldn't it? What could? Deadly poison coursing through our veins, right? Yeah. Subtly poison? Yeah, yeah. Rabies moxie could make us all go berserk. Yeah, well, some of us already are, aren't we, eh? So us is probably immune. <laughs> Get stuffed. Hold on, now. Hold on. The rat did eat us his sandwich after he did, didn't he? Right? So the old rat can't be feeling too chipper, eh? Hey, I warn you, sir. Serious, you don't, do you? Hey, you know, this is how the plague started, you know. What plague? What plague? The Great Plague that wiped out half of Europe. The Black Death. You mean to tell me the Black Death could start up again, eh? Because a rat ate a piece of Brenda's chocolate cake. Leave oh, me. Oh, I'm not bothering with you anymore, Way. Go on, go on. Go on, just die, die, right? Oh. And don't say I didn't warn you. Hey, the rat never ate much of Brenda's cake, did it? Must have liked it very much. Brenda didn't make the cake, it was her sister's. Oh, hey, it's all something academic, this. Right. I mean, what about rabies and shots right. and injections and that? Right, oh, for God's sake, eh? Hey, all of us is well. None of us have suffered any horrendous after effects, and we all let the bleeding cake last night. I mean, you're overreacting, aren't you? Come on, ain't you? God. We ain't right, what? I suppose so. Must admit, I don't feel any worse than I usually do. Just talking about taking precautionary measures, that's all. Ah, tell her, the bollocks, man. Big fuss about that. Yeah, right. Now then, who wants some toast? Well, oh, Miss Lace. Could have been at the bread, you know. The rat. Great bump. What's the verdict, then? Ah, we're all agreed. It's not to worry about. Of course it's not, man. <laughs> How big was the rat? What is that, man? Well, Thomas said he couldn't miss it. He's just weighing you up, man. Probably a mouse. Well, how come you could spot it in the dark? Oh, I'll leave it alone, man, will, will you? Thought it was a cat myself, like... Well, that big? Look, Neville, 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 how is it that every time I've got a problem, I end up sorting out your problems or the others? You know, all of those problems are a lot more trivial than my own. I'm oh, sorry, Dennis. Didn't realise. Well, you never do, do you? None of you. Here are still coming over, is she? Yeah, she's coming at the weekend. I can't see that it's worth it myself. I mean, we'll all be packing in in a couple of weeks, and we'll all be back home, thank God. Aye, well, maybe some of us won't. What do you mean? A change in the law? Got any choice? We've got the choice of signing up as an official taxpaying German worker. Oh, that. But who wants to do that? Look, Neville, not everybody's as desperate to go home, you know, as you are. What? You mean you might stay? There's that possibility, aye? Oh, and uh, give them these snaps of me sister's party. Right. They are, pet. I haven't sugared it. Oh, right, oh. 
When will you leave, Friday? No, Saturday. I have to change planes at Frankfurt and I get there in the afternoon. Well, I'm scared of flying, aren't you? Well, I'm more scared of seeing Dennis. How do you mean? I don't know, it's just going over there, I suppose. I don't know what it'd be like. I don't know if he wants us to go. But he asked you, surely. No, it was my idea. It was your idea. You know, when the divorce proceedings were going on, Dennis being away made it a lot easier. But in some respects, I think that that distance hurt us. It just became references on her solicitor's letter. You know, I've only seen him once since he went away to Germany, and that wasn't very pleasant. Uh, well, these things never are, Vera. I know, but we should still be friends, whatever happens. What do you mean, whatever happens? I mean, for the sake of the kids. We still share the kids, don't we? Why are you going out there, Vera? Come on, sir, come on, sir, come, come. Oh, 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 It's not a vet, is it? What is it? It's that new Judy and admin. Her name's not a vet. So what? Who said it was like? You did. Did I? Well, it's good a name as any, isn't it? No, it's not. Her name's Krista. And us will bloody murder me. Oh, for God's sake, Moxie, man, what's in a name? A fist in my face, that's what. He's only gonna bought her flowers, hasn't he? Look, can I not just sort your own problems out, man, eh? Just leave me to sort mine out. You've got us into this, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> She's adorable, isn't she? Yeah, she's Krista. Oh, for veins, indeed. Oh, is there any help with that? Yeah. Well, it's just of English. Oh. To Yvette from someone who has waited a long time. <laughs> Was? For Yvette, from someone who has waited a long time. First, then, Yvette. Oh, Yvette. Oh, Yvette. such a serious face. Me? Well, I'm all right. Well, uh, uh, not really. It's, uh, it's about the weekend. Oh, yes, that's all right. I found somebody to look after my mother. Mm -hmm. oh, there's not going to be a weekend, is there? No. I mean, there will be. I mean, I want that very much. Just not this weekend. Uh -huh. Vera, you see, my wife. She's coming out on Saturday. See? No, you don't. Look, this wasn't my idea, it was hers. There's a few problems to sort out, you know, formalities like. I'm sorry. It's all right. Perhaps another time then, hmm? Well, it, there's no perhaps about it. You're telling me? I am telling you. Look, next week for sure, right? Or the week after? That is when you're going back to England. Not necessarily. Oh? Well, but that's really your business. 
Well, don't act like this, will you not? I'm not acting like anything. Yes, you are. You're acting like you're offended. Look, I told you it wasn't my idea. It was hers. I mean, I don't know what the problem is, but I ought to have to find out. Of course you must see her. Well, I want you to as well. Me? You want me to meet her? Yeah. Why? Well, I mean, you know she exists. I want her to know that you do. Do you think that's such a good idea? Look, Dagmar, I'm sick of keeping part of my life, right? And an important part. I'm sick of keeping it a secret, trying to hide it. I mean, with the lads, I had good reason, but I see no good reason to, to hide it from Vera. Anybody else for that matter? Including your mother. Even her? Look, I mean it, Doug. All right. I will meet your Vera. Thanks. I better get back to work. Eh? Hey, I see you've got uh, other secret admirers, eh? Oh, yes. Many. I get flowers like that nearly every day. <laughs> Two weeks All of them, thank you. <laughs> oh, charming, charming. Now, seriously, though, like, what are they for? No, no, what are you doing with Dream, man? What are you doing with It's got none of your business what I bought them for. Hey, all right, all right. You know, I'm not trying to need them. No, you ones. better not neither, right? But I ain't belly full of dear. Hey, what are you going to do with them? I'll, I'll sling them, I suppose. I'll take them off you. How much? How much to you pay for them? Fifteen quid. I'll give you half. Half? Uh, Only two hours old, man. Yeah, but they're still second-hand, aren't they, eh? I mean, there's not much demand for second-hand flowers, is there, They're as good as new, look. Ah, no, they will be. Oh, yeah, you should have put them in water, son, otherwise they will. Look but... at them petals. Now, look at the petals. Definitely will in them. Are they? Yeah, yeah, well past their prime, son. I think five quid's a bit over-generous, really. Was seven fifty at the bricks. <laughs> oh, yeah, but they're wilting by the second, aren't they? I mean, the price goes down, son, even as we speak. The price goes down. You're a woman still making the trip, is she, Dan? Aye, she'll be over tomorrow afternoon, Bob. Putting her in a hotel, are you? Well, I can hardly put her up in the hut, can I? Yeah. All right, sometimes think how long she's staying yet. You should all come over on a charter. Can you and I open up for him? See where we really live? Aye. Yeah, I might make him realise what a sacrifice we make. Aye. Especially the sore king rat right there. Oh, aye. I had a letter from Brenda this morning. Yeah? I've been surprised if you hadn't, eh? <laughs> she said she'd been around to see your Vera. Oh, aye. She said... Said what? She said she couldn't really work out why Vera was so keen on coming over. Oh, aye, well, I'll know that tomorrow, won't I? Could be a bit tricky, yeah? Tricky, how come? Well, you know. You know what? Well, I'm a man of the world, Dennis. You and Dagmar? Yeah, could... Well, it would just be tricky, couldn't not it? Not necessarily. I mean, you know, Vera will meet Dagmar when she comes out here. She will. But why not? Look, it's not as though I'm cheating, you know. I mean, Dagmar's not my bit on the side. You know, I mean, Vera, she's got Alan, hasn't she? Well, yeah, but... There's no buts about it, Bonnie Ladman. That's the way things are, you know. And the sooner everybody realises that's the way things are, the better. Fine. Right. Right. Couldn't agree more. I'd like you to have these. Sind ein kleiner Fehler mit Ihrer Buchhaltung unterlaufen. For me. And um, this is not for Evet, yeah? Huh? No, no, for you, for me. Now, Wayne, what is going on? Who do these flowers belong to, hmm? To her. As does my heart. Ah, oh, right there, Wayne. Coming over the club for a bevy, you Oh, yeah, yeah, in a minute, lad, sir, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, what's you doing hanging round here, then? Uh, nothing, nothing. Huh? 
Oh, yeah. I thought you were loitering with intent, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, waiting for the sunset. Sunset? Yeah. Uh, look, I'll, um, I'll see you late, lads, all right? Well, search yourself, then. What's he on about? Sunset? That's one of the most beautiful things in the world, isn't it? Deuce with off sunsets. If it ever notices the exotic glow the sun makes in its dying moment over the asbestos warehouse, yeah. Uh, ranks with the Andes, that does, you know. Or even Malibu. What's he doing? I don't know. Ich glaube, da wartet jemand auf Sie. Oh, was soll ich denn jetzt machen? Mann. Sie könnten sich für die Blumen bedanken. <lacht> Na? Alles klar. Wiedersehen. Tschüss. Bis morgen. Schönen Abend noch. Hello. I was just passing. Um, why you buy for me is this? Why do I buy? I just felt like it, you know, impulse. Yes, um, thank you so much, yeah? Uh, so very lovely. It's no more than you deserve, is it, eh? There are other flowers, uh, much like these, uh, from Oz, I think his name. Really? What a coincidence, eh? Um, look, my name's, um, Wayne. Oh, <laughs> I know. So, thank you, babe. My pleasure, love. Uh, you, you English, uh, you live there, yeah? Yeah, in the heart, yeah. Call it the Starleg. Uh, uh, wie bitte? Starleg, because it's like a prisoner of war camp, you know. Oh, uh, it's, it's a nice camp, yeah? <laughs> nice? Mm, it's not exactly the Hilton love, but it's OK, you know. Just one of the hardships we have to endure to stay in your wonderful country, huh? Yeah, uh... Show me. You what? Yeah. Show me. Look, it's a bit basic, love. I mean, it's got old socks and Christmas things in it, you know. I really don't think you'd like it that much. Wayne, you're dirty. She's not my bird, man. Not since I found out that she isn't. Suppose I wasn't. Still very tasty, though, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, you know, when Wayne gets his evil hands on her, mate, you know. Huh? Mm. See you, big? Yeah. Well, I did warn you, love. Huh? It's, um, like army. <laughs> or like prison. Try to ravish him, miss. Oh, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a rat. Right, then, Dan. Hi, Ross. Thought you'd gone for the day. No, I just, uh, just want to get me dry cleaning. Everyone's up like a sodden lark this morning. Bomber and us have gone to the bus already. Yeah. I saw uh, Barry and Neville across the shops. Getting rap traps. Not before time. Did you hear it last night? Nah, I don't think so. I sodden did. Scratching around as if it owned the place. Well, it obviously doesn't give a rat, eh? 
Don't give a rats. Good job, that. Yeah. Poor Mike. <laughs> oh, it wasn't bad for this time in the morning, was it? Just the thought of it, though. It's disgusting. Well, let's hope you get rid of it by the time I get back tomorrow, eh? You're not here tonight? Nah. No, me, uh, my wife's coming over. I'll just stop in the same hotel as her, you know. Same hotel? Yeah. Not the same room, though? No. No, not anymore. No. Nah. So long, mate. So long, mate. Ben's with you. Oh, smashing. I spoke to him before I left. Mm -hmm. Having a great time. Going to Holy Island today. Mm -hmm. Back to school on Monday? Yeah. Helen's going to bring them back and stop over. So she'll get them off of Adam and come back. What do you mean if you don't go back? Well, I thought I might stay Sunday night as well. I mean, it's not often I go abroad. Unless it's inconvenient. No, no, whatever you like. Well, you don't seem very keen. Well, you've never seen Dusseldorf Dorf on a Sunday night, have you? Will we pass where you work? Before? Nothing for you to see there. Well, I just thought it'd be nice to see where you live, that's all. Aye, uh, well, we ensured a young lass around where we live yesterday, and she's in intensive care still. Poor lass, a rat. A rat? Yeah. Ooh, how revolting. I never knew conditions were that bad. Well, not really. The rat just showed up this week, you know. Captivated by some of Brenda's chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she sent some things for Neville. Will I see him? Aye, if you like. Look, uh, the thing is, I thought that um, we might invite Neville to eat with us tonight. Oh, I'd rather wait by ourselves. Well, I've invited somebody else, like. Who? Well, it's just a friend, you know. Somebody I thought you should meet. You're not seeing her, are you? I am. After last night's fiasco, do well to get out of that. Must have stressed your persuasive powers to the limit. No, I didn't say nothing, Mox. She felt sorry for me, I suppose. I mean, I did look a right pillock, didn't I? And when I walked her to her car, well, when I squelched her to her car, oh, James, she was ever so sympathetic. Moved, I suppose, by the squalor of your surroundings. No, no, more aware of my embarrassment. And then she did something, and it was incredible. She took this anky, this little white soft anky, out of her bag, like, and wet the corner of it, and then rubbed some mud ever so gently off the end of my nose. <laughs> Tell you, Mox, I had goose pimples all over. Wet it with her tongue, did she? You what? The anky. Wet it with her tongue, like. Yeah, well, of course. What do you think she does? Carry hose pipe around with her? Hey! What are we beating for? Oh, wait. Look at the size of that. You could trap a bear in that. Aye, wait. Then I said it was a big one. Yeah, I'll get some beer for them, eh? Could be more tonight, you know. Luxurious breed as a rat. Leave it out. He can't have raised a family in two nights. Not on top of Brenda's chocolate cake. Right, so. We bought this and all. Poison. How long after it eats that? Does it die? Doesn't matter, does it? As long as it does die. Well, it matters if we find dead rats all over the place. No, no, they're not going to die in here, Moxie. See, what that poison does is it makes them thirsty. It gives them a raging thirst. Right, like us, lot, after a curry, eh? Ah, well, sort of. Anyway, they're desperate for a drink, right? So they go looking for it. Well, they're straight for us, is lock them up. No, they're not going to die here, right? Oh, wait, let's get these traps set. That one's... See, your rat knows instinctively that water's at the bottom of hills. So you head off down to the river to find it. Hey, hey, hey. Where are you going to put that? I don't want to come in late tonight and lose a foot, son. Oh, well, I'll, I'll pull it down by the skirt and board away from the bed. All oh, right. Um, look, lads, I'd like to give you a hand, but um, I've got to go into town, so uh, I'll see you later, OK? Bye. Bye. 
CNA, you know. That Krista. Is serious? <laughs> serious? Why? Well, yeah. Hiya. Hello. You're prompt. I am German. Yeah, so you are, so you are. Uh, do you want a refill? No, thank you. Look at that. It's why gin and tonic. So how is your Vera? She's fine. Uh, she'll be done in a second. You sorted out your problems? Well, there weren't any problems, really, you know, just uh, the usual things, uh, money and the kids and that, you know. Then I showed her around the town. When you go back to England... Uh... If I go back. Ah, oh, well, OK. If you go back to England, where will you live? Yeah, I never really thought about that. Uh, probably have to stay at my mum's at first. Oh, that'll be something. I have to remember, uh, remember to wipe my feet when I come in and uh, don't rumple the cushions and empty the ashtrays. Oh, it's she sounds like my mother. Thank you, Sharon. Cheers. You are nervous now about this evening? Yeah, I am all of a sudden, yeah. yeah. It'll be all right. Uh, over here, pet. Vera, this is Dagmar. How do you do? How do you it do? is very nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you as well. There, I've got you one in. There you are. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Dennis <clears throat> told me he showed you the town. Yes. Oh, it's a lot nicer than I expected. Well, I didn't show her where we work, of course. <laughs> well, yes, that is not so nice. No. Although, uh, Bomber, he, that's one of the guys that I work with. He, he, um, he says we should bring all the wives over here and would make them see what a miserable existence we lead. Well, he don't seem to lead too bad a life. Aye, well... Well, uh, let's just have another one, shall we, and then go and eat? Not for me, thanks. No, thank you, Dennis. Not for me. Well, I'll have one, then. Lawrence, you're back early? Yeah, I had to see some mates, but that drive back to Essen. I'm going over the club for a job. Come on. Yeah, I'll follow you across. I'm just going to sort this boot out. There's a nail in me foot. See you later, huh? Yeah, I'll be long. OK, out with it. What's the matter? Nothing. Look, that was an excellent restaurant, that. You hardly ate a thing. Look, you said look. even less. I'm not feeling very well. Must be in the flight. You know, I don't like flying. Anyway, you and Dagmar could have stayed with oh, her. Of course, we couldn't have stayed. But don't you normally stay with her? What's that remark supposed to mean? Oh, just drop it. No, please. I won't. I'm tired. You're upset. You're upset because I brought Dagmar. Yes, I'm upset because you brought Dagmar. Sometimes you can be... I can be what? You can be really insensitive about how other people feel. You get an idea in your head and you've got to see it through. Look. But you don't always think it through. Listen, look, I know what's going on in your life, right? I want you to know the same about me. I just want you to know the way things are. You don't know the way things are. Oh, really, really? Come on, inform me then. Don't get angry. Look, I'm not getting angry, man. I'm confused, maybe. Look, I didn't come over here to sort things out. I could have done that on the phone. I came over here because our divorce isn't final yet. Yeah, I know. And, I know it's well, not. I'm not sure I want it to be. No, look, just wait a minute. This divorce was your idea. I know. If I, I remember know correctly. It was. And I know it hurt you. Well, it hurt your pride, anyway. And there were good reasons for splitting up, very good reasons, but... Oh, I don't want to go through all that again. 
Well, Vera, I wish I knew what you did want. I don't want a divorce. I want you to come home. Oh, bloody hell. <sighs> Fancy drink? I got some duty free gin on the plane and some glasses in the yeah, bathroom. Yeah, yeah. There's a tin of pilchers here if anybody wants one. Oh, and some tiber rhyme. What do you think I'd pass on that combination? Fish and chips. That's what I fancy now. You know, real English fish and chips oh, wrapped in a Sunday mirror with oh, loads of vinegar. Oh, yes. oh, well, then I'll have some stuff from Brenda when he gets back. Well, them little fancies from your Brenda. What little fancies? Little uh, hard things. There was someone lying on the table when I came in before. Square ones, like. Aye, tasted a bit queer. What? You ate the one, did you? Uh, ah, well, just one. You didn't mind, did you? Well, only little. No, no. No. Um, you feel all right, Charles, in, in, in yourself, like? You, eh? You feel all right? Chum in? May not have a rage and thirst, like. A large cognac, please, Chief. Yep. Ah, Dan. <laughs> what you doing here? Make up. Yeah, me too. Do you want another? Scotch, please. It's a large scotch too, please, Squire. Yeah. I thought you were staying out all night. No, that's you mean. Cheers, Ty. Things not work out with uh, Dagmar and your old lady, then? I, th I thought I was just being above board, you know, and straight and honest. Vera said I was showing off. Showing off? Showing off Dagmar. Well, I mean, she's a smart lass, and she, you know, I mean, attractive and honest. I don't know, that's probably what I was doing. <coughs> well, she's rather special, that Dagmar, isn't she? Yeah. Mind you, so's her mate, eh? Mm. Krista! Mm. Hey, hey, you and me, have uh, call the clerical stuff, haven't we? Eh? Huh? Well, I wish I had, then. No, things not work out like... She wouldn't let me get near her, would she? Mind you, that... I didn't want to, you know? Ah, I didn't want to sort of like come on strong and and jump it like. Yeah, hey, you were slipping, aren't you? I'm smitten then. Now listen, don't tell the lads, right? Now, I can confide in you, can't I? Yeah. Now I know you've probably got your own problems and all that, but I can bend your ear a bit. You hey? just carry on, bunny lad. I haven't got a care in the world. Yeah, me, well right? look, I'm I'm serious about this, Krista, right? I know it's madness, but I'm really bowled over. Now don't tell the lads, eh? My lips are sealed, all right? I get embarrassed just thinking about it, you know? <laughs> Never happened to me, I said. Oh. It bloody has, isn't it? Hey, you really are serious, aren't you? I'm deadly uh, serious, yeah. then. Of course, uh, never having been in this situation before, it's pretty hard to be certain about the symptoms. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, well, listen, I'm positive, Sunbeam, that this is it. It's devastating, mate, devastating. Yeah, that's not the end of the world, that man. Go for it. Yeah, but I can't fathom it, can I? And the trouble is, we're shipping out in a week or two, aren't we? I'm sure. Well, so I've got to decide whether to go home or chance me arm here, haven't I? Yeah, you're not the only one has got to make that decision. And you too? Mm-hmm. You mean home or Dagmar, though? No, I mean Vera. Or Dagma. Blimey, Dennis. What are we going to do? Well, I was about to get pissed. You can't join me. <laughs>